back to Voicebox from Australia. There are about 20 million people living in Australia, and like Mongolia, many of them live in the city. This is Sydney, the biggest city in Australia. Sydney Harbour cuts the city in two from north to south, and if you want to avoid the traffic from the bridge, the best way to do so is on one of these, a Manly Ferry. It's a very relaxing way to travel, and very popular with tourists. Some lucky people catch the ferry to work or school. It sure beats the bus. I couldn't tell you about living in Australia without showing you the beach. This is where many Australians come to relax in the sun, play in the sand, or swim and surf in the sea. If you think it's busy now, you should see it when the sun's out. And if you like surfing, the beach is the place for you. But you have to be careful, the waves can be big and dangerous. Birds called seagulls live near the beach, but watch out or they might steal your lunch. The mountains in Mongolia are much bigger than the mountains in Australia, but Australia does have some mountains. I'm here at the Blue Mountains, and they are about two hours' drive west of Sydney. They're called the Blue Mountains because they look blue from a long way away, and that's because of these, the eucalyptus leaves in the trees. They have eucalyptus oil, which makes the mountains look blue from a long way away. And koalas love eating these leaves. What's a koala, I hear you ask? Well, here's your answer. It's one of Australia's most famous animals. It lives in eucalypt or gum trees. Look how easily it can balance on the branch. A koala looks like a bear, but it's actually a marsupial, which means it carries its babies in a pouch. Here's another famous Australian which also carries babies in a pouch. It's a kangaroo. There are millions of kangaroos in Australia. They eat grass and have a very strong tail. They can fight by resting on their tails and kicking with their strong legs. This giant bird is an emu. It looks like an ostrich, but it's only found in Australia. The emu can't fly, but it can run very fast. These lazy looking guys are wombats. They love sleeping. And what's that coming through the grass? Oh, it's called a goanna, a giant lizard. It's not an iguana, but a goanna. It can grow very large and look at that long tongue. But here's some animals that are more familiar in Mongolia. Sheep. Well, this is the Australian countryside and as you can see, just like Mongolia, there's grass, hills and also sheep. In Australia, it's different to Mongolia because the farmers own the land that their sheep eat on. And the sheep aren't allowed to move around because of these fences. So, quite different to Mongolia. Welcome to Melbourne. I'm in Australia's second biggest city now. It's about 1,000 kilometres south of Sydney. And while Sydney has the beach and the harbour, Melbourne has arts, sports, fashion and shopping. And right behind me is Flinders Street Station. It's one of Melbourne's most famous landmarks. The best way to see Melbourne is on a tram. A tram is like a train, but it drives on the road, so the cars have to be very careful. Behind me is the Yarra River. It goes right through the middle of Melbourne, 
and up there, that big thing in the distance, is the Melbourne Cricket Ground, or the MCG. It's Australia's most famous sports ground. Football, soccer and cricket are all played there. In 1956, the Olympic Games were held there, and last year, the Commonwealth Games. It can seat almost 100,000 people.